what is the difference between assessing what's happening now and predicting what's going to happen tomorrow? Uh, uh, it's actually not much of a difference. It turns out that knowing what happens, what, in being able to figure out the rules you need to figure out what's going to happen tomorrow is simply that you uh, add in time. And so the notion of analysis can become predictive analysis if you add in time. So if I now say Bob has five apples and 10 apples and three apples, and I say Bob will have 12 apples on Monday, I still can do the same kind of reasoning I was doing before in terms of assessing today, but now it becomes predictive because I have time stamps on things. And all I really have to do is admit that time is a feature and then I can start predicting what's gonna happen next. Now, the better the data, the better the prediction. The worse the data, the worse the prediction. By the way, the data that we have today is exquisitely good with regard to uh, human beings in particular. Um, there is more that can be predicted about what we do, uh, particularly what we do online, particularly what we do with people we work with, you know, we shop with, um, uh, than, than you would be able to bear. In fact, a lot of organizations pull back um, their ability to assess and predict based upon data because of that, because it's just too scary. Um, but the notion here is that prediction really only comes from um, taking our, these available features and saying, there is a thing I care about. There's a target. There's a thing I want to be able to predict. Tell me all the things that happen in front of it, before it. So if I have customers and I have all my transactions and every once in a while I'll lose a customer, I want to be able to predict that. So tell me the features that are, are going to be important for predicting this. It's like, oh, I have a cell phone. I, I, I have a cell phone service. Um, it turns out that if, if somebody loses, drops four calls in a week um, and um, can't get connectivity three times over a month, I'm going to lose that customer. And you can get that by simply looking at the data, seeing the events, you lose a customer, and then seeing the precursor events. And understanding that there is a thing you want to predict. Because there are many, many, many things you could, pr you could predict given a set of data that you don't want to predict. And the reason why you don't want to predict them is because uh, you don't care about them. So it could very well be that you, know, you, um, you can take a look at the same data set and you could predict um, uh, when someone's going to call their mom. But you don't care. You're a cell phone company. You don't care when, you know, when someone's going to call their mom. You could. Um, in fact, y you can, but we don't. Um, so the difference between predictive and, and assessment is really just a matter of what it is you want to predict and having time. 